Hi loves, welcome back to the Good Food Baddie channel. I'm Capri Lily, and today I'll be showing you how to make this delicious gluten-free sweet potato bread. Now, if you've been following me for some time, you know I recently eliminated gluten from my diet, and my body has felt incredible ever since. And I found that it's super easy to do, but one of the hardest things for me is finding a really good gluten-free bread especially from the grocery store because they tend to have ingredients that I just want to avoid. So I decided why not make my own gluten-free bread at home. So I came across a recipe on Kaylee's Paleo Gluten-Free blog and she has a recipe for sweet potato bread with pumpkin spice. So I decided to try this recipe but I made a few modifications and the bread turned out absolutely incredible. So I'm going to show you just how to make this sweet potato bread so that you can have your own gluten-free bread at home. And as always, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post videos every week. All right, let's jump right in and I'll show you exactly how to make this delicious gluten-free sweet potato bread. So to start, you need two small sweet potatoes or one large sweet potato. And I'm just going to cut the ends off and I'm going to dice the sweet potato in cubes. The sweet potato should come up to about two cups total, and I'm going to pour that into my food processor. And then I'm going to blend this until it becomes a rice-like consistency, and that takes about a minute or two. And now I'm just going to scrape the sides, making sure I have it all. And here is what it should look like. And now I'm going to add four large eggs, three-fourth cups of coconut flour, about a third of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of honey, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm adding one half cup of melted coconut oil to keep the bread nice and moist. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of fresh sage. Now I'm going to blend for about a minute just to mix all the ingredients together. And this is what it should look like. Now it's ready for us to put in our bread pan. So I lined my bread pan with parchment paper. It makes the cooking process a bit easier and the cleanup process super quick. And now I'm just going to scoop all the ingredients inside the bread pan. I want to make sure that I get every single bit of all this goodness. Now I'm going to smooth it out and make sure my bread is nice and uniform. I'm just going to take my spatula and go around the edges and along the sides. And last, I'm just going to top with about a third of a cup of sliced almonds. This makes it so my bread is extra pretty and adds a bit of extra protein. Now the bread is ready for the oven and I'm going to bake this bread at 350 degrees for about 60 to 75 minutes. It takes a while for the sweet potatoes to cook and all the moisture to disappear. And this is how it looks when it's finished. It is so beautiful and it looks perfect. Now you have this delicious gluten-free sweet potato bread. I added the sage to make it a bit more savory and I added the cinnamon and brown sugar to give it a bit more sweetness. I topped mine off here with some raspberries, some blueberries, and some almond butter and it's so good. So I'm happy to share this recipe with you and I hope you like it as much as I do. Definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In my next video, I'll be talking all about why I eliminated gluten from my diet and talk about the difference between gluten intolerance versus gluten sensitivity. And I'll even talk about all the hidden foods that have gluten in them so you don't want to miss out, especially if you're on the fence about how your body responds to gluten. All right, loves, it's been a lot of fun. See you next time.